Welcome back everyone to the channel and today we're gonna have a look at one of my favorite plugins called Audio Monitor. So without waiting any longer, let's just jump right into it. Hey, it's me Josh. Hi everyone, my name is Josh or Level Up Josh and today we're gonna level up your stream for a little bit. So today we're going to have a look at this, get the audio monitor plugin for OBS studios. I'm sorry to say this everyone. If you're using Streamlabs OBS, it's not going to work. I'm so sorry for that, but I suggest if you want to use plugins, jump over to OBS studio. It's going to help you a lot. First of all, you'll have to download the OBS plugin here. You, you push on if download, you go to the Windows installer, set, download that, unzip the files. I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. Let's do it fast. Extract all and extract it here. And you have the audio monitor installer. You double click that. Sometimes you get this, run it anyways. With this plugin, you can have multiple audio monitoring sources. And uh, people have been saying this might be the voice meter banana or potato killer. Right now, I don't think so. They have a lot of things that they should implement in this plugin to kill voice meter banana, but it's a fantastic app. Before this plugin came out, we had only one method for the audio monitoring on OBS Studio. You had to go on your settings and you had to go on advanced on your audio settings and you had to put on which audio or which monitoring device you wanted and you select whatever headset you were using because if you wanted to listen to your let's say you wanted to listen to your Elgato device or your music and everything like that if you don't have a mixer or go XLR you had to go into advanced properties right click on the audio mixer here and you find one let's say we wanted to listen to our microphone you go into your microphone and you go in to monitor and output but the problem with this is that when you wanted to listen to something or wanted to turn up and down the audio of your mic or music or whatever it was you not only turn it down for yourself you also turn it down for the stream so you didn't have two completely different audio level for the stream to listen and for yourself to listen. Because sometimes when I started streaming and I turned down the audio for the Elgato when I was playing Nintendo or something, I had to turn down the audio on my OBS or the Elgato source and it turned it way down so I couldn't even hear it and my stream couldn't hear it at all. But with this monitor plugin, it's making it so much easier. If this video helped you in any ways, please consider living a like and subscribe to the channel so I can make more videos like this. Let's continue. After you install the plugin, you open OBS again, you right click the source you want to filter in, one of your audio sources. Let's say it's Elgato, my Elgato audio source. So you open that, right click and press filter. I mean, you right click or plus sign. I like to right click add and there you go. Audio monitor. I'll just leave it at audio monitoring. I like to have my audio around 60% instead of 100. You route it to whatever device you have. If you're using a headset or speakers or whatever, I'm routing it to my Arctis Pro Wireless and that's it. There you go. Now you can have your Nintendo sound in your headset and it's a different level for your stream and your headset. It's fantastic. You can always add another audio monitoring, just audio monitoring too. You have a partner or friend that you want to game with and they also want to listen to the audio of the game or even listen to your microphone. You can put your audio monitoring on the game or on the microphone and choose which headset they are using. And they hear exactly what you are hearing. What I like to do with my audio monitors, because you know, alerts and all that stuff that comes through your system, your alerts or triggers or whatever media sources that you have. I like to put audio monitoring on my alerts. So it's kind of loud for the stream, but not super loud for me, but it's loud enough for me to always listen. Cause sometimes when it's only on the system, it's very, very hard 
to hear the alerts. So I like to split the alert and have it on my audio monitoring or have an audio monitoring on that source. And for that to happen, you have to go into your alert. When you have that browser source of the alert, you have to control audio via OBS. If you don't have that, it's not gonna pop up here. Now it's gone because it's all, it's hidden here. But if I unhide all, you see all the things that I have hidden. But if we go into the alert filters, I have my audio monitoring here. If I didn't have that control via OBS, it would come through my system audio. And that is just too muffled for me, in my opinion. I like to hear my alerts so I don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching today on this audio monitoring plugin. I hope I learned you something and I hope that we can do more tutorial videos in the future. If you have something that you want me to go through, please leave a comment down below and I'll see you next time. Be sure to level up your stream.